Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is we can learn so much about the unconditional love we receive from our children and our pets. Now, I don't know what is going on in the world right now, but it seems like so many people are angry. All you have to do is go on social media sites and just see the people lashing out to people they don't even know. They're upset about so many different things they're they're being very judgmental about people and it's really hurting a lot of men and women out there it's really sad to me to to see this going on because majority of us need love in our life we need to feel wanted accepted appreciated all those things that go with loving someone and i really feel that we can learn a lot from just being around our kids and our pets because they are just so loving and so giving and they don't have a lot of expectations. They just want to be loved back. And the one thing that I find is when you're dealing with people today, I don't know, things have seemed to have changed since COVID for some reason. I guess everybody's just got financial situations and all sorts of stuff that can cause a lot of problems. And I get that. But if you can receive love and give love back to people, it makes your life so much smoother. It's just a better place to be because you're not putting anger first. You're sort of giving the benefit of the doubt to people that you come across. And when you come home and your dog is there or your cat to meet you at the front door, there's nothing but love that you receive from them. A lot of people I'm finding now have decided to bring a pet into their home because maybe they're lonely, maybe they just want someone to come home to at the end of the day that's there for them and is consistently there for them. They have their back. This is what's missing in a lot of relationships today. People aren't choosing necessarily the right partner so they're not happy. And when you're not happy in certain areas in your life, you do tend to lash out sometimes. It's the old misery loves company sort of situation. But really at the end of the day, this doesn't make you feel good. I'm sure you've had a day where you've said something to somebody and then you've come home and went, why did I do that? That was not nice. And you feel guilty about it. Well, that's a good sign. At least if you feel guilty about it, you can repair it. You can fix it and you can change your own behavior. But so many people are not doing that right now. And I really would love it if everybody could just watch children play for a little while. Be around your nieces and nephews if you don't have kids. Borrow a pet for a day or two and just see what they're like. They can teach you so much because they really truly just want to be with you and love you. And that's the nice way that life should be. Unfortunately, there's so much stuff going on in the world right now that isn't a happy place. It can be difficult to stay positive, and I totally understand that. Even I go through it myself. But I really think that if you can start in your own home and take on a better attitude about things, it can sort of repeat and repeat and repeat in other people's lives because when you talk to people or you're around other people you you can be contagious if you're happy if you've got a good attitude about life and that's what we need to see more of every political situation in almost all countries right now is there's a lot of turmoil going on we forget how to love each other how to just appreciate each other And I really think this needs to come back because it's so hurtful every time you step outside now. There's somebody mad at somebody. Or you turn the TV on and there's another situation happening that's traumatic. It's really hard to stay focused and to stay stay positive when all this stuff is going on. But as I said a minute ago, if you can at least start in your own home and be around positive people, bring them towards you, It's a step in the right direction of changing the elements of what's not working right now. Our pets and our children love us through all our faults. They forgive us every day for if we yell or we're mad or whatever. 
And it's just such a wonderful place to be because you stop and you look at them and you just say to yourself, was that worth it for me to be upset? Did they deserve that? And so every day you learn something from this. We would do anything for our children, like our nieces, our nephews. We would always be there for them and give them the love they deserve. So why can't we take that approach with other people? Why can't we be more forgiving, more loving, less judgmental? Why is the world becoming so angry? Another great thing about receiving unconditional love from your pets and your children is there's no underlying drama or issues. Everything is above board. There's no game playing. It's such a nice place to come home to when you have that, that sort of scenario. And if you don't have it, put yourself in it if you can. Go to a friend's home that has children or has pets. And as I said, maybe borrow somebody's dog for the afternoon and spend some time with them. It really is a great form of therapy. It really helps your mindset and, and keep it focused on the good things in life. Another thing it teaches you is that you have more patience with kids and with pets. And more patience there than you have in an adult relationship. So this can teach you how to behave and have a great love as well in, in your own personal partnership. And in closing, please be aware of who you let into your life. Because sometimes we feel we have to have a certain person in because maybe they're family or maybe they've been in our lives for 15, 20 years. We grew up with them through high school. If you've outgrown a situation or you feel that it's hurtful to you or you're not feeling the love from them and you don't feel that it's an unconditional situation, you have every right to remove yourself and to bring people in that do have a like-minded thought process because that's what you want to keep yourself healthy but you know you can get through anything together when you're on the same page in the love department thank you so much for listening to dear cyber Sue today please leave any comments you have under the video today and please click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so thank you so much bye, -bye.